Take this blade and carefully cut out the housing. Just gonna hold So I'm going to put this bracket on the inside here. So I know this one, I want this to be lower than this lid. So the height on the other side, I'm just going to eyeball. Here's how we do it. This side, I have to measure it out. It's tacky tack. So I'm tack it. Take the hammer. Right here. Just so that I had to cut the plastic so it would clear these screws. This is seal better. So first I have the ground here. The multimeter. Turn it to volts. Volts. Now, this part goes into the ignition. This cable here goes into the ignition, as you can see, right there. So we're going to take the ignition's off. We're going to a 12 volt reading right there, 12.88. This is the hot wire that comes from the battery on this side. But we're looking for something else. We're looking for something that doesn't register when the ignition is off. So we'll try this one here, zero megavolts. This one here, 16. This one here, 16, this is 0.1. This one here, 7. Show you this one again. Nothing. Now, I'm going to turn the key to the on position. And this one still should be hot, which it is. Take this green one here. Nothing. Take the second green one here. 180, millivolts. Second, third green one, and a black one. That's it. So this black wire right here is we're gonna connect into this black wire here. Why? Because when you turn the ignition, let's see if I can put it all up at once. There's kind of a shadow here, but it says 12, it says 12.68. Now I turn the ignition off, power is gone. Turn the ignition on, power comes back. That's exactly what we want. So we'll unplug these connectors here. Push it down and give it a little bit of wiggle. There we go. We're going to push this pin out. We can see here this is little. It's 
little lip. Here. We're going to use an awl to push it down and pull it out. So, take it all. Push it in the hole here. The side. Push down that pin a little bit. Wiggle this. How it comes. You see. Secure. Put the shrink tubing over. Okay. Now I've got a piece of ceramic. Just going to position the holes on the other side and then screw it, screw it in. So I threaded the bolts here on this side. Two amp fuse in here. Now, if water comes in and this fuse gets wet, it'll blow out. So, I'm going to wrap from end to end, from this end to this end, this Teflon tape. Back in like this. Here. I'm going to pull it. That's it. And that'll, that'll keep the water out. I attach the black wire here. I attach, I attach the black wire here. And then solder the other end to the black wire that came from the port. Nothing, but we turn the key on, and boom, charging. Turn it off, charging goes away. Turn it on, charging comes back. Done.